manage to get the most out of your fertility meditations or do you find that sometimes meditations don't work properly for you? Then this is the series for you. I have compiled 10 top fertility tips and this is tip number five that I'm sharing with you today. I've been a meditation instructor since 2003 and a fertility expert since 2007. So I'm here sharing you this information from the bottom of my heart based on what I have been seeing with my fertility clients over the past few years. Before I go on, please remember to like, subscribe and also click the bell icon that way you are notified of the next video that I put out. Now if you haven't already seen videos 1, 2, 3 and 4, this is a sequential series. You will benefit more if you watch video one first and then two and then three and then four of the series before watching this one. This one is all about heart opening. Your heart is the portal to the higher dimensions. It's not just your physical heart we're talking about. We're talking about the band of energy that runs around the heart, so from the chest and the upper back. This is your heart portal. It's the main chakra of the body. When this is activated and open, it helps to align and balance and activate the rest of your chakras. Now, if you don't know what chakras are, it doesn't matter. Chakras are energy vortexes that actually connect to the different dimensions and to the physical nerve ganglia of our body. So it's actually gonna be depending on how you're feeling. They actually help to to manage your moods. So when we can open the heart, for example, it helps us to dissolve anger, to dissolve irritation, irritability. It helps us to overcome resentment. It helps us to be more kind, to have more compassion, not just for others, but for ourselves. It helps us to unconditionally love others and ourselves. And this is one of the key ingredients you need for faster fertility success. Heart opening with all of those aspects that I just listed for you is honestly, it's one of the secrets that really does propel your fertility journey. Do you know why? Because when you love yourself enough, you have self-worth, you have self-confidence, and you believe that you are worthy of having as many happy, healthy children as you desire. When you don't have the self-love, you don't put into practice what is needed to help you to raise your vibration, which matches baby's vibration, because baby, as you know, is in spirit form, and your yearning to have your happy, healthy baby is simply baby saying, mom, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready now, and you're feeling that, and you're wanting to match your vibration with baby so that baby can come through with effortless ease and grace, and you know that you want this to happen now, but often there are things in our subconscious mind blocking it from happening now. So that's why meditation is one of the tools I teach as part of my six pillars of my epigenetic protocol that helps women from all over the world to have their happy, healthy babies, even into their 50s using their own eggs. You know, this protocol helps to improve your AMH levels, improve your cellular health, and therefore egg health, womb health. I'd love to know what meditations are working for you. So leave the comments below and, and let me know. I'd love to know, is it one of my fertility meditations? Is it someone else's? I've had a lot of comments from people, you might have seen them yourself on this YouTube channel. They say that these meditations alone are helping them to have their babies. So these meditations help you to overcome the, the mental blockages, okay? The self-belief blockages. When we ignite the heart, our heart literally comes into bloom. Because remember, there is a connection between your heart and your womb, which is your baby's first bedroom. So if you feel a sense of lack, a lack of love for yourself, for others, or kindness, or you're feeling that constriction and restriction, which is what a closed heart feels, you're gonna create that tension in the womb. So how do we open the heart? How do we let it soften? I like to use the image of a rose coming into bloom because the base of the heart is colored green, the top of the heart is colored pink. The yin energy, the feminine energy is at the base, the yang, the masculine energy is at the top. So the masculine energy is light, you know, it's light as in the color and light as in the density. The grounding essence of, of the green of the heart chakra helps us to root, be connected to mother nature and mother earth. You need to feel that connection so that you feel the support on your fertility journey. And remember, Mother Earth calls to live upon her, all the souls that are here. You wanna be working and harnessing with Mother Earth's energy to help bring your baby through quicker. And simply by opening and softening the heart, learning these techniques that I'm teaching you in this 10-part series will help you. It will be the catalyst to connect 
with your higher guidance, your intuition with Mother Earth and your baby spirits. And remember, only you have access to your sacred heart chamber. No other rogue entity can ever enter. So never allow anything to enter your heart. If you're in a meditation and you hear a message, let me into your heart, this is not ideal. It means that you haven't set up the energy hygiene that you needed to. If you don't know how to set up the energy hygiene, watch my previous videos for tips and techniques on how to get better results through energy hygiene. It's essential that you do this. Now, I'd love to know what's working best for you. How do you see yourself as a rose coming into bloom? What do you feel? Leave it, leave it in the comments below. I would love to support you through this journey. And before I wrap up, remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon because then you'll be notified of the next video that I'm putting out. And most importantly, come and join me over in Patreon. The Awaken Tilly Patreon channel has meditations every single Monday to help you to set your week right. It's gonna be going into more details and guiding you into some of the tips and strategies you've learned already. And I've also got other things like fertility yoga, Fertility My Mastery, powerful seminars. I'm live doing Q&As every Wednesday. So come and join me there, it's a lot of fun. Hope to see you soon.